Hello lady machines and gentle machines. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'm gonna start out my day by getting a little bit more froggy fresh. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. At the Crush Carrier, it's been modified. My hair's been modified. We are feeling a little bit more aerodynamic and uh, just uh, overall looking froggy fresh. Anyways, we have this trunk missing here on the frame. I'm going to place it right where it currently is. It's going across there. That wasn't there, of course, because that trunk's missing. We put that trunk, you get it. So anyways, that's going to be the support for the four hinges that I bought. This car randomly stopped right there. I don't know what that's about. But uh, anyways, I have so many different things on my plate right now. I have the Crush Carrier. I have Crush himself. I have the Jeep. And all those things are going to help me get to my final goal, uh, which is invisible for you guys. But it is in my line of sight. Okay, they're gone. You'll get more of what I'm driving for in a few weeks, in a few months. This was originally supposed to take Crush around the events, the, the races that I'm going to. Unfortunately, it's taken a little bit longer. And that's because, you know, it's not at the shop. We don't have power all the time. We don't have conveniency. Not only that, but there are a lot of things that I need to do here that require two people, and I'm usually a one-man crew. So that's exactly why I'm going to prep all this metal so literally my brother can just come up or whoever can, whoa. So somebody can hang on to this door while I weld it to my new frame. Just like that, I leveled this portion of the trailer. So now we are, we are level this way, and we're level up and down. These walls are level, how's that? So we have some sort of good surface here to work with. Now this was just a rough cut, but it came out pretty good. What we gotta do is we have to clean this side of this piece of steel, and then the other side back here. Now this is something I can completely weld by myself, which is really, really good. Now we gotta set up the grinder. Now something as simple as setting up a grinder takes like 10 times, maybe 20 times more time to do when you don't have electricity. So that's the main reason why the camper has moved a little bit slower than a lot of you thought. I mean, I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying, man, when you have no power, every little tiny task is takes so much longer. Not complaining, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Look at this beautiful weather I'm dealing with now. How could you not enjoy this? Currently jamming out. That's what I really like about these headphones. Anyways, I ground those pieces down. So now I can weld this. This I'm going to, like I said, be able to weld, which is really, really good. However, there's some more limitations here. I can't move the generator by myself. So now I'm going to have to test our cleanliness of the ground. If we missed any screws or nails, because we picked them up on the way, if we've missed any, I am risking getting the Duramax tires flat by backing it up here so that my welder can reach. Chaos, 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 but we're trying to figure out, it's, it's all about problem solving. I like to problem solve. Sometimes the problems suck, sometimes the puzzles suck, but you gotta make it happen in order to have amazing things sometime. I mean, not right now, but eventually. And now the test begins. Let's see if we lose our back tires. <laughs> Hopefully they don't flatten. But this is definitely close. I can definitely get this done. I feel like an Egyptian. It was a mystery, but I got it up. I luckily uh, put a two by four on the ground here so that <laughs> once I got it into place, I could put that on there. Now it's holding it up for me. So I'm just gonna measure where I'm gonna put my hinges here, weld it on, and I actually did what I didn't think I was ever going to do, which is really, really cool. As you can see, I got three hinges welded. Now, I only have them tacked though because I can't get to the back side of this portion of the hinge. This portion of the hinge, I can't get down in there with my nozzle. Same with that one and that one. So basically, this is just all ticky tack together. Now the thing is, will those tacks be strong enough to hold this 200 pound frame? Because the only way I can finish welding it is to bring this down. A sigh of relief and a prayer, we're gonna just send it. Get to it! Now I can get to it! Woohoo! But before I can do that, I have to level something real quick. It's going to get dark soon. In my last live stream, a lot of people were asking questions, obviously, because it's a live stream. A lot of people brought up things that I haven't touched in a long, long time. 
one of them being the ATC, the big red. I think, what, what size is that? Is that a 180 or? I don't, I don't even remember. I know that it's an 84 though, because it has reverse. And that was a, that was a luxury back in the day, believe it or not. Nowadays, if something doesn't have reverse, nobody buys it. At least I'm not buying. Well, here's both the Bruin and the three-wheeler. The Bruin looks like the seat's off. Any mouse nests so far? Nope, no mouse nests. The camera can see better than I can see. There's still no battery in it because I haven't even taken it out this this summer. Well, it's, it's we've only had summer for two weeks. It was snowing just a little bit ago, so it, I'm just getting... Spring's finally here. All you guys down south, man, I, I need to get down there. I don't remember hitting that when I pulled in here. Any, anyway, I don't think this has a battery in it either. Nope, no battery. I'm not sure if I have a battery for that thing or if it even works. The reason why you don't really see the ATC on the channel a lot is because the, the same reason why you don't see ATCs overall. Um, they're super, super sketchy. And another reason is mine likes to overheat. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. This is the current day, so I will see you in a little bit. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Hey,